uh, in the circle in the figure above uh, O is the center of the circle and then you have a segment BC is tangent to the circle at B and uh, according to um, the circle theorem we know this um, angle B is a right angle and then A lies on the segment OC uh, OB and OC are equal to 6 and what is the area of the shaded region um, so this is this question is um, a little bit uh, complicated um, but we can still um, the way to go is we can find uh, the sign of uh, angle C right the strategy so once we find the sign of angle C um, we can then figure out uh, what is this angle O here what is this angle O um, and then this will tell us that the area of the sector uh, will, will help us how to figure out the area of the sector later all right let's see so I'm going to um, so first thing first we want to find the sign of this angle sine of angle C so the um, according to the definition uh, sine of angle C is opposite side over the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle and the opposite side uh, the side opposite uh, angle C is OB right so we have OB here we have OB here and then the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the length that is facing the right angle which is the OC so this is the OC and OC is OA plus AC and this is you know the length OC is OB plus AC and each one of these uh, each one of these is 6 and when you add them together is 12 and therefore sine of angle C is 1 half so we have established uh, sine of angle C is one half and over here this is just a detailed explanation of uh, how we calculate OC right OB is 6 AC is 6 these two are given information and OC is the sum of these two and therefore OC is 12 and this R here is OA oh, this R is the radius right this R is the radius all right so we have the uh the first step is we have figured out the sign of uh this this angle right here which is one half and second step second step is um is if sign of that angle angle c is one half how uh how large is that angle what is what is that angle well then we are going to use the arc sine function so we're going to use the arc sine function so this become uh, angle c equals to arc sine of one half and arc sine of one half is 30 degree all right okay so let's see i'm gonna i'm gonna add this all right so angle c is 30 degree now the second step the second step is if we already know uh, this angle All right and then how about this angle All right the sum because uh, angle B this is a right angle and therefore the sum of the other two must add up to the sum of the other two must add up to 90 degree right at angle O plus angle C is 90 degree and we already uh, calculated angle C is 30 degree and so 90 degree minus 30 degree so the angle O is 60 this enable us this enable us to um, calculate the area of the sector so the area of the sector is 
the area of the circle times the ratio given by the size of the this angle. The size of this angle is 60, so the, the ratio now is 60 over 360 degree, which is 1 6. All right, so we are now on to um, the, the third step, right? So we continue. The, air, the area of the entire circle is pi r squared. The ratio is 60 over 360. And 60 over 360 is in fact equal to uh, 1 6. So this, this whole thing here is um, the area of the sector OBA. Area of the sector OBA. So I'm going to add. Um, well, I'm going to add here. So I'm going to say this. This is the area of sector O, B, A. Already. Now, so we know how, uh, what is the size of OBA. So the second step is um, we want to find the area of the triangle. So we, when, we, when we find the area of the triangle OBC, after we find that, uh, we subtract this um, area of the sector from the area of triangle, we can calculate the shaded area. So this is a bit involved um, uh, question right so to find the area of uh, the triangle obc there are two ways to do it there are two ways to do it uh, one way is to make use of the pythagorean theorem the other way is to uh, use uh, the law of sine all right let's let's go with the easier way which is the pythagorean theorem um, so now, the Pythagorean theorem is uh, the OB square. OB is this one. BC square. BC is this one. And the sum of these two is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is here, which is OC square. Right? This is the Pythagorean theorem. Now, so we're ready to uh, make some substitution. You know, OB, we are given the information that OB is 6. So this is 6 squared plus BC squared, right? BC squared. And OC, OC is the sum of these two. OC is the sum of OB and OC, uh, OB and AC, right? So OB is 6, AC is 6, and therefore OC is 12. And so you have the setup here. Um, then it's simple enough to calculate uh, what BC is. BC is uh, 144 minus 36, and then take the whole thing, uh, the square root of the whole thing. And this is equal to uh, BC squared equal to 108. And we're going to rewrite 108 into 36 times 3. Um, and then you pull the square root of 36 out front, it becomes 6. So BC is equal to 6 square root 3. Now you have essentially this, right? So um, you have th the length OB, the length BC we just calculate. So you're ready to calculate the area of the triangle. So we're on to the next step. The area of OBC. So I'm going to add this sign, right? Triangle. Oh, well. Uh, the triangle OBC, right? So as I said, is equal to OB. Is equal to OB times BC times half. This is the formula for a triangle. And OB is 6, BC we just calculated in previous slide. 6 square root 
6 times square root of 3. So this is 6 times 6 square root of 3 and times 1 half. Um, this R means the radius, right? That's 6 is, um, is the radius of the circle. Uh, so that, that, that's where the R square comes from. Uh, 6 times 6 is 36 divided by that 2. Therefore, this is the 18. 18 times square root times square root 3. So this is the area of this triangle right here. Now, we calculated um, the area of the sector here. This is the area of the sector. And then we calculated the area of the triangle. And now we're ready to calculate the shaded area. The shaded area is simply uh, the area of the triangle OBC minus the area of the oh, oh, area of the sector OBA. Oh, all right. Okay. OBA. Now, so um, this is equal to R square. R square square root three. Um, divided by 2. So that R square, well, I'm going to rewrite this R square into um, into 6, right? This is 6 square. But the radius, R stands for the radius, and the radius is 6. Um, I'm going to replace this this is um, this is also six, right? Six square. Six square is thirty-six. Thirty-six divided by two is eighteen, right? Six square. Six is the radius, so we're good. You know, we're good. And and then the area of the sector OBA. Um, what was that? Um, so so we are at at here. Right? The area of the sector is one half times pi r square. So one half times pi r square. So this is um, this is correct. So we are at this step. And then we um, pull the r square out in. Um, they have a common factor of r square. All right, they have a common factor of r square. So we take out the common factor of r square, and this is the square root three um, over two minus pi over six. All right, and finally, um, we are at here. So we are at this stage. So we are at this stage. Um, this is. Um, we need to convert them into common denominator. And when we do this become uh, three square root times square root three divided by six. And so this becomes three times square root of three minus pi over six and r square. So this is the area of the shaded area, right? So this is the area of the shaded area. Um, already. So now R square, radius square, radius is six. Look at the circle. Uh, the radius is OB, OB is six, right? So you have, you have a six square here, you have a six here. So this end up with only one six. So um, this becomes three times square root of three minus pi times six and you expand this expression, this becomes 18 times square root three minus six pi. So the answer to this question is B, right? The answer to the question is B. Now suppose, um, instead of using Pythagorean theorem, uh, you find that a little bit more complicated, you know the law of sine. Uh, 
So you know sine law. Uh, if you remember the formula, right? If you remember sine law, the area of the triangle is one half times uh, this length times this length, and then times the sine of the angle between the two lengths. So this is uh, given by the law of sine, right? This whole thing is the formula. So, and then you, you, you're going to do the substitution. So OB is the radius, which is six. OC is the sum of OA and AC. Sum of OA and AC, each one of them six, and therefore it adds up to 12. Now, finally, uh, we previously, we calculated that this angle, angle O is 60. So this is sine of 60. Sine of 60, that, that is a, a special trigonometric angle. Um, and you, you need to remember that this is a special uh, trigonometric angle. Therefore, uh, the value is square root 3 over 2. And uh, take out the common factor of 2 here. You are going to have um, 18 times square root 3. Now, compare this number with what we get uh, here using the Pythagorean theorem. It is identical. So to calculate the area of a triangle, there are two ways. You, know, you can use the law of sine formula, or you can use um, the area uh, Pythagorean theorem and calculate the base and height of the triangle um, and they come out to be identical. They come out to be identical. Um, so that's it. Um, so I hope that you find this helpful. This is one of the harder SAT uh, questions. This is one of the harder SAT questions. But um, I, I, I do find that quite interesting. So uh, all right. Hope. Uh, Hope you find this helpful and uh, I look forward to seeing you in class.